Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome to Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun, a 90s style retro shooter in the Warhammer 40k universe. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I'm some expert and aficionado on the Warhammer 40k universe. Pretty much the only things I know how to say are The Emperor Protects and Purge the Heretics. So when this creepy Inquisitor lady tells me the system of Graia is tainted by chaotic energies and I must investigate the source, I only have a vague idea what that means. But the good news is you don't have to be an expert in Warhammer 40k to at least have a heck of a lot of fun with this game. Just grab your bolt gun or other weapon of choice and slaughter the chaos demons and the heretics. We're gonna jump into a campaign that is already in progress on a hard difficulty. Now you might notice right away, this game has a graphical style very reminiscent of such titles as classic Doom and Quake, which is kind of cool. I mean, if you're gonna go for a retro style shooter, those are the par for the course right there. If you can meet that style and be true to form, it's gonna look absolutely fantastic. And this game is strangely gorgeous for a pixel art. Ooh, a secret. I will grab one of those, thank you. Hey, look! Heretics! Kill them! For the Emperor! Oh, actually, there's Chaos Space Marines over this direction. And we got some demons. Okay, blue horrors and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Love dealing with the forces of Chaos. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and kill off these Space Marines before they're too much of a threat. By the way, not only do I have a bolt gun, I do also have a chain sword if that's something I want to use. Right now, at these distances, probably not. Ah, Flamer. Let's go ahead and shoot this guy before he becomes a problem. There we go. All right, looking around. So the red stuff that you've seen me picking up so far, that is going to be my health. The blue shields I've been picking up is called Contempt. It's kind of like armor, and you get that for killing some of the forces of chaos, as opposed to the corrupted humans, right? Now, right now, if you jump into a chapter that's already been completed or an in-progress campaign, then you only have access to your trusty bolt gun at the beginning of the game. Later on, I will be given access to a few different weapons. The good news is the bolt gun is pretty darn reliable and very good at shredding through unarmored targets. So we can sit back and enjoy that. Hey, look, a shotgun. I'll enjoy that. But first, keep using the bolt gun, kill these guys off. Um, here we got some pink horrors as well. These guys split and spawn in some additional blue horrors. You always gotta watch for that, but that's fine. Kinda hope I can find my plasma gun soon. Ah, okay, more guys just warped in there. Yeah, that is a thing that's going to happen. Chaos cheats, all right? You kill these things, they just go right back into the void from whence they came, and they never really truly die, all right? And these guys can just teleport around and be summoned from the darkness? Just telling you, it's really unfair. That is why we rely on the glory of the Emperor of Man to protect. Anyway, take care of these guys up top. Always be looking for secrets if you can find it, by the way. Some of them exist. I mean, they're actually kind of hard to find. Occasionally, there's like, you know, hidden walls and stuff. Like, you really got to look for them. But if you can, it's always cool to be a completionist in a game like this. Not to mention that you do sometimes get some power-ups associated. Not the highest priority. If you want to just skip them, you can. But I think it's fun. So let's see. We will open up this door. Oh, there's some dormant. Okay, got the... Thank you. Okay, very nice. Thank you. All right. Let's use the elevator up in this direction. And I'm kind of expecting to face off eh, some guys at the top. You knew that was gonna happen. All right, more demons, more stuff. There should be some flying enemies at some point fairly soon. I think introduced in this level. Not to mention some extra cool weapons. We'll get to that in a minute. I'm getting ahead of myself. I like that I'm around this cool Gothic cathedral style of building. The grim dark like aesthetic of the Warhammer 40K universe has always been one of its best features, in my opinion. I mean, I know that I'm not, you know, I'm not really into Warhammer 40K, and I'm really missing out. A lot of my fans are huge uh, proponents of this game and telling me, for years, you really should be playing more Warhammer 40K. And I can accept that. However, it's really intimidating when you've got a fan base as rapidly fanatical, and I mean that literally, as Warhammer 40K. At the same time, as an aspiring cult leader myself, I have to say, I really do respect the devotion. There's lessons to be learned in there somewhere, I'm sure of it. Oh, there's my plasma gun. Thank you. These things are great for shredding through the armor of much stronger targets. Don't waste your ammo, though, on smaller targets, right? I mean, conservation of ammo is a very important aspect of this game. You want to be using your bolt gun, ideally, against the weaker targets. Save the plasma rounds for the big guys. Don't waste your shots. Still getting chased down by some of these pink and blue horrors. I'll be honest, I much prefer to deal with these little guys, though. There are Nurglings in this game, you know, for uh, someone called Papa Nurgle. Not really Papa, but you get the idea. The uh, Chaos Lord of, what is it, Pestilence and Disease and stuff. Those little guys will swarm you, and they're really freaking annoying. I'd rather deal with a horror any day. 
Ah, flamer up there. We'll go ahead and use the plasma gun. Make sure that guy goes boom. Ah, I've lost almost all my contempt. Well, that's contemptible in and of itself. Gosh dang you stupid chaos demons. Now, unlike a game like Doom or Quake, this is not really a game where you're just gonna be running through extremely well-designed levels with enemies around every single corner. Instead, what often ends up happening is you kind of get into, I guess, an arena shooter. You get into a big room like this, and you get locked up in some way, and you have to kill everything before you're allowed to proceed to the next one. It makes for much more simplified level design, and I think some people might find that that's not quite as true to the Quake and the Doom theme as you would like. That said, I mean, I can't argue with the results. It's still fun. Ah, a key. Excellent. All right, the key I needed in order to unlock a door, which should be right over here. Hello. Yoink. Open that sucker up. And ooh, that looks like fun. A secret. Also, vengeance bolt gun shots, uh, at least for a little while. What's the difference? I don't know, but it changes my ammo type at least a little bit. Ah! Oh, hello, there's a lot of guys. Grenade! Just go ahead and blow them all up. Wait for a second, and oh, they threw a grenade right back. How very cute of you! Idiot blew himself up. Can't even feel bad about that. Oh! Lots of little guys right next to me. Okay, and the good news is these flamers actually are dying really quick. Whatever these vengeance shots are, they're fan flipping fantastic, and I love them. Give me more of those. Now, that's not gonna last forever. Once you reload, which we just did, those shots are gone. Oh well. That's one of the examples, though, where secrets can be nice little power-ups. Use them wisely if you can. I say if you can because I rarely have the mental wherewithal in order to have some better way of dealing with that. Hey, look, the Adeptus Mechanicus. Alrighty. Um, let's see what else we can find over this direction. This feels suspiciously like a trap. I'm in an arena, and there's no enemies yet. There is, however, some interesting new ammo. Okay. We get a heavy bolter. Purging begins, says my... What is that weird skull thing? Tech skull thing, I don't know what it's called. Hmm, where are the enemies? Oh look, flyers! That's what I was looking for. I knew you'd be here sooner or later. All right, the heavy bolter, very slow if I'm shooting it and trying to move at the same time. Fan flippantastic at shredding through lots of enemies quickly though. Look how I can't get through here, by the way. That's what I'm talking about when I say this is like an arena shooter. And a Chaos Terminator. Big guy over there. I don't think I appreciate that. And I am also know I'm getting snuck up on from behind. That's right. They came from behind. I hear weird sounds. I don't know what it means. Probably more things warping in behind me. Gosh dang it. Uh, never be afraid to just constantly be moving in this particular game. I mean, if you can find a nice hidey hole and just, like, let them come to you, that's great. I mean, it may seem cowardly, but it's not cowardly if it's effective against the gosh dang heretics, all right? You do what you gotta do in order to make sure that the chaos is purged, all right? No cowardism involved, but... Uh, it does mean that staying still usually gives the enemy a great opportunity to sneak up on you, and who wants to do that? That sucks. Gosh dang it, they keep spawning in more! Oh, God, my fury grows! Yeah, at the same time, I have to say, it's pretty cool that one space marine can apparently take out almost infinite chaos demons. But the Emperor do protect, after all. If you haven't noticed, by the way, the game is, uh, shall we say, just a smidge gory. <laughs> I mean, lots of blood to go around over here. Bathe in the blood of your enemies, and I mean that almost literally. Ooh, got another secret. For at least a little while, I seem to have slowed down time. How that's possible, I don't exactly know, but that's obviously pretty cool. Nice trick. So tricky that it smells suspiciously of heresy. Hmm, uh, that would be a problem. Anyway, the way out seems to have been cleared once you defeat those bosses, so down we go. All right, and there's another ambush, because of course there is. Okay, unironically though, I've taken quite a lot of damage. I hope you guys are gonna give me some methods of healing. Oh, there we go. That helps, actually, thank you. Uh, oh gosh, dang it, I'm out of grenades. Um, uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, grenade, ha <laughs> I just charged at my enemy instead of throwing a grenade at them. That is called foolishness. What am I thinking? Good lord, no wonder I'm dying, I'm an idiot. And this looks suspiciously like the next big arena. And my weird little, oh, I nearly fell off the edge. Skull thing is saying, uh, caution, Use of access gantries poses risk to vital function. Yeah, falling off the edge is what you mean, and that would indeed suck. I do agree. On the plus side, it feels like a great location to just sort of like sit back and let things come to me because I know no one's coming in from behind. So that's great. Um, let's get rid of those big flying shrieker things. And hey, look, more little guys spawning in. Hooray. Ah, oh, great, another Terminator. Do you know what? You just go have fun over there. I'm gonna just take this moment, to just grab myself some additional uh, health and a little bit of healthy contempt, all right? 
because I know once I kill you, the next wave spawns. So this is called being strategic, and I'm sure the Emperor approves. And from a long distance, if you're just gonna stand there, I'm gonna plasma you to death. <laughs> you idiot. There we go, he goes boom, and oh look, Chaos sends me another party, man. I am just the most popular space marine in this whole gosh dang planet. Ah, there's even more! Oh gosh, all right. I mean, this is the hard difficulty. All right, I probably shouldn't be doing this as somebody who doesn't play these kinds of games very often. But you know what? I feel like if you're gonna go into a game like this, just go heavy. Just go hard or not at all. That's my motto. Ow, ow, ow. All right, also try never to launch your plasma gun so it hits a target that is danger close. Dang thing explodes and it hurts every time, and I think I've exhausted all of the health in this area of the map. Well, that's good. On the plus side, I think taking care of that Terminatus, whatever he's called, Terminator, has uh, solved a few problems. So the purge is resolute. We must now continue. Oh, and actually that looks like the level exit right there. Thank you very much. All right. That took longer than it probably should have. You know, it was a relatively quick mission, only 22 minutes. Oh, I missed somebody! Who didn't die, Purge? Eh, I'm not surprised I didn't get as many secrets, though. That's that's to be expected. I don't know where they are. So now I'm entering into the Venerable Bastion. I don't know what that means and why it matters. I just know that there are heretics, and I must slay them. That is my mission in life. And what more of a mission do I really need, okay? I get to run, and I get to gun, and that makes me happy. Do you see me running out of bolt gun ammo, though? That actually is heretical. Can't allow that to happen. Hmm, again, when things get quiet, that's when my spidey senses start tingling and I think something's about to sneak up behind me. Or teleport. Nope, 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 just general heretics up ahead. That's fine. Run-of-the-mill heretics, you know. But that's what I'm talking about, though. Grenade! Go boom! Well, that wasn't as big of a boom as I would have liked. An aspiring champion. Haven't seen these things before. What does it mean? They have plasma guns of their own. Heck if I know, because it doesn't matter. They're dead. ha <laughs> ha. Never mind, they're back. Oh, gosh dang it. Grenade! All right, um, blow up the barrel. That that actually did surprisingly well. <laughs> Destructible objects for the win, you fools! Mm, this looks like a small trap. I could be wrong. I hope that I'm wrong. I see a door. We open said door, and there's at least a few enemies. Ow! It's fine, though. Okay, back in the weird, like, gothic architecture over this direction. This is 100% a giant arena fight. <sighs> All right, off we go. Whee! Oh, there was a secret up there. How do I get back up there? I actually don't know if I can. Darn it. Engage purge protocols, says my bloodthirsty skull companion. Yeah, okay. What's... <laughs> We have protocols for that. We need protocols for that. I feel like that's something you just do naturally. Whoa, an exalted flamer. He's got a weird freaking beak. Oh, it's the servant of Teench or whatever his name is. I don't know. One of the weird little chaos deities. Ah, the one that like meddles with like mysticism and time and weird things like that. I don't know. It's fine. Just looking for a good vantage point. Don't mind me. Uh, something up over here actually will do the job very nicely. Stay exactly where you are, fools! A part of stay exactly where you are, did you not understand? Exalted moron, more like. There we go. Ah! And there's another one. Hooray! Okay. Whee! Good thing there's no fall damage in this, I think. You know the real reason I hate the whole teleportation thing? It's because I'm supposed to, like, check my corners, all right? When I clear an area, I expect everyone to stay good and dead, all right? Knowing that enemies literally can pop up behind me, and there's nothing I could have done to predict it, it's just like, ah, uh, mm, this is not how warfare is supposed to work. No wonder the Emperor hates chaos so much. All right, the bosses are down. That means that I'm allowed to leave the arena now. Thank you for giving me permission. Of course, to see a giant open door like this and think, oh, that looks suspiciously like a second arena. Just waiting to find out that I'm right. Oh wait, no, remember we, we need some sort of a key. Okay, that's fine, I can find keys. I'm very good at sniffing out keys. What do keys smell like? No idea. Sulfur? Maybe. Sulfur. Ah! Heretics! But what do the heretics smell like? Uh, answer, gore. Lots and lots and lots of gore. Hey look, I'm missing the key right there. Okay, now I know where to drop off the key. Where's the dang key? Found it! Key was over here. My nose sniffed it. Ah! We've got a welcoming party! It's fine, nothing a little heavy bolter can't handle. All right, we got the key, which means drop it off over Mia. 
Which means the door is opening, wee donk. And I come over this way. I love the idea that I'm like some gigantic uh, super soldier in how many tons of steel, just leaping around corners and running like a freaking walking tank. I just, I just love the visual imagery of Space Marines. Always have. Ha ha, die you giant bird thing. Gosh, what even art seems supposed to be? That's the cool thing about Chaos though and all their demons. Everything's so bizarre and unexplainable. I mean, except for Nurgle. That guy makes perfect sense. He's just a giant bag of pus. One of the things that is extremely fun, though, about playing a game with a rabid fan base like Warhammer 40k, I know that if I make mistakes in how I talk about certain things, and I guarantee I am doing that, that there will be a lot of people in the comment section explaining why I'm an idiot. You know what? Joke's on you. We call that viewer engagement. It works well for me. Ah, the champion guy chases after me with an axe! Oh, that's what he does. Ah, there's another one! Ah! Okay, that guy actually really hurts. Um, note to se ah, note to self. <laughs> Don't get cornered by one of those champion guys. Nasty. They sure are giving me a suspicious number of grenades in this mission. It's almost as if I should be using those more prolifically. All right, Exalted Flamer. Ah, okay, well, you know what? Thank you, Elevator. That's not quite what I had in mind, but it's all right. Peekaboo! I see you die, disgusting thing! And I go back down, thank you. Look, elevator camping is an advanced tactic, all right? I don't care what anyone says. There's no dishonor in it whatsoever. The only dishonor is not using every tool at my disposal to destroy the forces of chaos. Ooh, a key. I thought I smelled some sulfur. I don't know, that's canon now. They smell like sulfur. I feel like there should be secrets around here somewhere. Doesn't it feel like there should be secrets around here somewhere if I'm able to walk on these kind of like ledges? No? Anyone think that I'm crazy there? I don't think I'm crazy. I actually don't think I found a single secret on this level so far. And that makes me feel like an abject failure. Oh, this is where I placed the key. Right, okay, got that, and we are through. Another elevator! What horrors await me here? Gosh, get the shotgun out, you never know. Um, actually surprisingly clear. Suspiciously clear, in fact. All right, next arena. Yep, I knew that was gonna happen. All right, we got more of these guys. Look, I said it before, I'll say it again. I would much rather deal with these guys than the gosh dang plague toads and nurglings, all right? Hey, give me, give me horrors and flamers any day of the week. Okay, maybe not the flying guys, though. The flying guys I could do without. Ah! Oh man, there's this whole area up top. A secret! All right, I found one. That, that's probably all I'm gonna get, but I got one. What does this one even do? I think it gives me, like, extra damage or something. Um, yes, my bolt gun is shredding through these stupid flamers. <laughs> nice. Ah, another one of those big Terminator dudes. Grenade! I don't know, that'll probably work. Ah! And they're spawning more of these things in on me too. Sure, 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 jump! All right, new vantage point. Um, no secrets, alas and alack. Whoop, and they have already found me. Ah! I don't like this anymore. Run! Ugh, there we go. Suck. Where is he? Uh oh. Wait. Where? Where? Um. Where are you coming from, bud? Oh, great. This is terrifying. I have no idea where this guy is, but you know he's coming after me somewhere. Uh oh. Never mind. There he is. Hang on. Come here. Ah! Don't come here that quickly. Good God. Chill. Ah! He came back. All right. I should learn. That's what he did last time. I'm sure he'll do it every time. Well, maybe. I don't know. For science, you're gonna stay dead. Maybe. Yeah, he's dead. All right. Chaos Terminator down. The sky is no longer as red as it was before. That must mean that we have defeated all of their forces, or at least the bosses. But of course, me being the intellectual knows that's not good enough. Now, we need to slaughter all enemies so I can get a perfect score at the end of the mission, which is almost certainly not gonna happen anyway, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. You know how many times I've nearly shot that skull every time I see it suddenly sneaking up on me on my peripheral vision? I know he's supposed to be so like following me and stuff, but you never really get over a weird floating skull chasing after you, all right? Every instinct says, shoot it! Where the heck am I supposed to even go anyway? Well, I think that's it right here, yes. That's one of the problems I have with this game is sometimes knowing where to go can be a little bit tricky, but all right. Another level complete for me. That one took again a while, 23 minutes, okay. Dang it! What are we missing? Ah, aside from the secrets. Don't look at that though. Anyway, I think that's probably a good place to kind of end this, just giving you a taste of how this game works. As far as how many levels there are, there are three chapters in the game, and as far as I'm aware, there's like 
eight, nine missions per chapter. So, you know, it adds up to being pretty good, about like 27, 25 missions or so in total. So there's plenty to do in a very fun arcade fashion. This game is honestly fun. It's fast paced, it's gory, it's everything you'd want to see in a grim dark game from Warhammer 40K. So anyone who complains and says this game isn't very good, I'm just going to say skill issue. All right, that's all there is to it. Skill issue. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell. And I will see you guys next time. Ha <laughs> ha!